Gold is the image and material of extravagance. However, with regards to buildings and structures, it's more about making a superior force framework than everything else. While a few nations assemble their milestone structures on the presumption this is the thing that their nation needs, a significant number of the buildings or tourist spots have been manufactured quite a while past, such as during the 15th century and the 18th century to be exact. However, it shocks no one when travelers and local people stop and gaze at these extremely huge, brilliant structures. A few draftsmen decide on a more engineered gold, similar to copper aluminum composite, while others go for the genuine article, straight up gold. Despite the fact that the reasons why buildings aren't made altogether out of gold are exceptionally standard. For instance, gold can't hold up a 12-story building. On the other side, it can hold a sculpture or a column, and obviously, little improving accents. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The Royal Bank Plaza, of course, holds a ton of money. The Royal Bank Plaza, located in Toronto, Canada, is home to the Canadian Royal Bank's headquarters. And as much as that may sound obvious to some, it's a big deal for Canadians. However, what some may not know is that the RB Plaza also has a Fairmont Royal York Hotel, making it the perfect golden hotel is moderately affordable, unlike some others on this list. There are two towers in the plaza, the North Tower and the South Tower that are of different heights. Although the exterior looks as though it's glimmering in gold, it is instead in bronze gold colored glass with a hint of mild beige granite accents. Hotel Marc de Riscal is so abstract one would live there forever. The luxurious Hotel Marc de Riscal can be found in the small town of El Ciego, Spain. The exterior of this intriguing shaped hotel is made of large aluminum panels. Each panel is tinted purple, silver, and gold, and shimmers in the evening moonlight. The hotel is also situated on an 1858 vineyard. Since being built in 2006, the hotel has also brought the fruitful grapevines back to life. So much so that this hotel also goes by the name Marc de Riscal Vineyard Hotel. This stunning hotel can cost up to $959 a night. Shwedagon Pagoda is total golden paradise. Shwedagon Pagoda is found in Yangon, Myanmar. Visitors can be treated to a guided tour where they can actually see a couple locks of Buddha's hair. However, what steals the show for this exquisite landmark is that it's covered in gold and the rooftop is blinged out in 4,531 diamonds, which is equivalent to a 72 carat diamond as the Shwedagon Pagoda official states. It is also home to hundreds of different colored temples, stupas, a commemorative monument that traditionally holds the remains of Buddhist monks, and statues that date as far back as 2,500 years ago. Dubai's frame attraction is ready for Expo 2020. Dubai's brand new attraction is a golden picture frame that stands 150 meters high and 93 meters long. This attraction opened just a few short months ago in 2018 where tourists can find this very large frame in the town of Zabil Park. Dubai has been adding new landmarks around town just in time for the 2020 Expo, which will be held in Dubai. In addition to the giant frame, Dubai will also be adding a glass bridge just a hop, skip, and a step away. Budapest Parliament was touched by a gold hand. King Midas was mythically known to turn anything he touched to gold. Ancient legend says that a man with King Midas' magic touch was blessed enough to visit the Hungarian capital's parliament of Budapest, where he turned the interior of the parliament's rooms to gold. The Budapest parliament is a monumental structure that can be seen from all angles of the absolutely stunning Budapest. On the inside, the main hall of the grand entrance is made of 40 kilograms of solid gold, in addition to the upper house hall. From the arches to the accents, gold is everywhere you look, and it's very hard to miss. On the exterior, although it's not made of gold, during the evening lights fill the sides of the parliament's walls and lights up like a giant golden Christmas decoration. The Catherine Palace is fit for royalty. The absolutely stunning and elegant Catherine Palace looks like a more European twist to the Buckingham Palace. However, for the 90s peeps, this palace also looks identical to the one Amanda Bynes lived in during a brief summer in What a Girl Wants. The Catherine Palace is located in the small town of Tsartskoye, Selo, just a few miles away from St. Petersburg, Russia. The palace's exterior is made of 100 kilograms of solid gold, while on the interior there are many different rooms whose accents are decorated in a thick layer of gold, from chairs to door frames, statues and floral vases. 
I think you can see a trend here. The Iglesia de la Campaña will make anyone gasp. Talk about bling. The Iglesia de la Campaña is built on two tons of pure solid gold. Currently, the domes are the parts of the church that are covered in gold. The Spanish church is located in Quito, Ecuador, and the locals of Quito have considered this church to be the church of the country. It's no wonder as to why, given the beautiful architecture structures inside and outside, and the intricate details inside. Platform of Arts and Creativity would surely get my creativity on. The Platform of Arts and Creativity is located in Guimarães, Portugal. The interior building is built into three different sections. The first annex is dedicated to workshops to help students engineer different projects. Beside are creative labs where students can brainstorm and try out their genius projects. Lastly, a creative studio for art and performances, as well as a gallery in dedication to the art of Portugal's famous artist, José de Guimarães, according to Architectural Digest. Sri Venkateswara Balahi Temple is a monument of a lifetime. The Sri Venkateswara Temple is located on the outskirts of Tirupati, India. At this temple, worshippers pray to the Hindu god Vishu and his many different forms and deities. Presently, temple attendees have been gathering to worship the deity of the Venkatswana. However, if one was to travel to India as a tourist, the main attraction for this temple would be the large golden dome roof that sits high above the current deity. It is believed that the Sri Venkatswara temple was built in the 19th century, but there are no records as to when exactly it was in fact built. The Fa That Luang is ready for visitors. Laos is new to the tourist scene since their days post-war. However, Laos has landmark structures that are unlike anything anyone has seen before. For example, the gold-covered Fa Dat Luang. The Fa Dat Luang is the city's symbolic mark. However, although this landmark may look luxurious, covered in gold, it is actually gold paint and not real gold. The monument is a symbol for the town's most commonly known temple. The Fa is built of 45 meters high and 96 meters wide, with 30 small Fa stupas that surround. There are three levels on the interior each of them more narrow than the one below. Tourists are encouraged to visit this landmark at least once in their lifetimes. We hope you liked today's video. And if you do, then hit that like button, and for more videos, subscribe to the channel.